Okay, so hey guys, I am going to do a Halloween craft, and I seen this actually on Pinterest, I think, and I was like, oh my god, I have to do that. So I went to the Dollar Tree. Everything is actually from the Dollar Tree. My cat is after that moss. But anyway, um, I just picked up these little containers. I think I might use them. I might not. Um, you're going to need two spoons, and I got some pink gems blue and then I had some here. I have little little spiders and ghosts and stuff like that. Um, little spider rings and stuff like that to decorate afterwards I think. I don't know. Um, and then I found these and I thought this would be a good idea for their wings. We're going to see. Um, these are like a rubberized wing and they pop right off the back. So I got a purple one pink one and then this like bluish one and I'm going to take those off I'll set my camera up oh and you're gonna need moss too um, and maybe some flowers I'll probably put some flowers on there and we're gonna need a hot glue gun which I have mine plugged in and I got more hot glue sticks so oh I did do this one last year um, I was gonna make like garland out of it but I might use him I'm not sure and then you're gonna need a plate and a cup but I just spray painted these silver and you get these in a pack at the Dollar Tree they come like on a string they have them every year okay so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna have our cup up like this so it looks like it's pouring something out and we're gonna have our two spoons like this and we're gonna hot glue it onto the plate so what I'm going to do is try to bend the spoon to the right angle and then we can hot glue it. These come from the Dollar Tree, but they're actually pretty strong. So I'm going to bend this. Okay, so I think I have these bent pretty good. They're pretty strong actually coming from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do first is hot glue these together and try to do it so they sit pretty smooth. and you're gonna to wanna to add a lot of glue. It's okay if it goes over because we're gonna cover it anyway. But just make sure it's straight and how you want it. And it's just like this. Okay, now I'm going to glue it to the plate my kitten is just all into this hot glue gun. I don't want him to get burnt. He's my little helper. Okay, so we're gonna put some hot glue in here. And it's okay, like I said, if it goes over because we're gonna cover the bottom with moss anyway. So I'm gonna put a lot on it just because it's gonna be holding weight. Um, that cup is really heavy. You can go around it if you want. No. Okay, next is our cup, and I'm gonna go down um, a good bit, that way it has a lot to hold, because like I said, this is a regular metal cup. You could use actually a plastic cup probably too. I didn't even think of that. But we're going to glue that on top of there. Again, you wanna use a significant amount of glue this is going to be get covered up too, so no worries on that. Okay, so here we have it like that. This is actually too heavy for this. So I'm going to um, hot glue something heavy onto here um, so it balances out the weight because it's never going to stay like this 
ever. Um, so I'm going to prop this up against my table and then let it dry and then I'll figure something out afterwards. We're going to put this moss on the bottom. Um, actually, I might have a cute idea. I might do a fire or something like that. I have one of these bats too. I thought maybe um, you guys could use those. If you can't find these, you guys could use um, like just these cheap bat wings from the Dollar Tree too. Um, they have all different colors. They had orange, um, green, all kinds of different colors. So if you can't find these dolls there, you can always go for that. Um, but I wanted to show you, if you do find these dolls, they have like these cute outfits on. I might try to put that on one of the skeletons or maybe even its hair or something. I don't know. But these are actually kind of cute. But anyway, these pop right off of the back. Literally just like pops right off. So how easy is that to do for a skeleton? And then we're going to hot glue them onto here. And I'm going to add extra gems and everything on there. So um, I'm glad I got extra glue sticks because I go through a lot. OK. So okay, then I'm going to add some gems because why not? Everything's better, I think, gemmed out. <laughs> You wouldn't have to do this if you don't want to, but I think it's going to be cute. Put a little silver one that's down here. Drones. Okay. As of now, this is what he looks like. I might add some more to his wings later. But how easy are those wings, guys? That's so, so cute. Um, I'll show you what it looks like if you just do these. Um, if you just do the bats, they're super easy actually probably easier than the other ones to glue on because it has like this little pocket that the skeleton actually sits right down in. If you can see that. And he can fit right down on it. Right down on the spine. Like that. So that's what it looks like back there. Okay, there's two done. I don't know if I should add hair to some of the skeletons. We might see what it looks like. Just because that'd be kind of weird, right? Again, these wings literally just snap right off of the back. So, these are actually good quality for the Dollar Tree. I'm impressed. Okay, so I had to take a break because this is not holding. Um, I should have got a bigger plate and I got like a salad plate because this is literally all they had. So it's not gonna hold at all, like not even a little bit. So I have a different idea. My husband gave me this slate. Um, I'm going to glue this on here and we're gonna have, um, I'm gonna have like water or something here. So. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm actually going to glue this on here, and then I'll have two sections I have to decorate. Um, I did pick up some rocks. Um, I had a loofah sponge, an orange one, and a red one. So I got those, and then a tea light candle. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that here later. So let's glue this plate and okay so I had a little bit of trouble this glass would not glue to this slate so I'm going to have my husband gorilla glue it but he's not him so we're just going to start decorating and um, I'll glue the plate down later make sure when you guys do this make sure you have a heavy heavy bottom because this didn't go anything like planned so here's this moss and I'm going to hot glue some of this down. 
like that, I think. And then I'm gonna have it on the spoons too. My cats have been dying to get under this moss, but. So let's glue this down first. Just um, the majority of it, because you don't want moss flying everywhere. I'm not gonna be able to have this like in my house, I can already tell, because my cats just can't handle moss. It's like crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna work the moss up the spoon. The stuff that you want to make sure it all glues on, that way you don't have it falling all over the place. Okay, so that actually turned out really good. Um, I am going to take these little dolls apart because I'm going to use their hands and stuff and have them sticking out of the ground, I think. I'm going to make it a little cute and a little scary. So I'm just snapping those off. Moss's other arm. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna glue those on. But before we do that, I thought it would be cute to use this. And I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, but I thought it would be cute to have like grass and then kind of like water. Yeah, I think that'll look cute. So let's glue that down. I'm so disappointed on why my thing is not gluing on my plate. I'm still upset about it. So I finished gluing our water down. Um, we're gonna work on the fire now. You wouldn't really have to glue any of this down like if you wanted to just set them around but I am I'm gonna glue them so you want to glue them to the plate not the moss so I'm gonna put my first one down but it's important that you don't glue your tea light down because of the on and off switch so I'm gonna set it here that way I know I'm not gluing It's a plate. Sorry. Okay, next for the fire, um, I have my yellow and red loofah sponge. If you guys don't have loofah sponges. You can find them at the dollar store though too for like a dollar a piece. Um, you can use tissue paper. Works too. So I'm going to line this up how I want them to go. So I want the red out first and then the yellow. And then we can set it in here. Kind of like that and we're gonna glue it down you can actually glue it straight through here since it is mesh just be careful you don't burn your fingers like I do I don't know how many times I burnt my fingers doing this Just make it look like flames, kind of, because it kind of looks like flames. Okay, so now I'm going to just add some flowers. It seems like these glue sticks go so fast. I need to get a bigger hot glue gun. Okay, now I'm just going to mess around and see where I want all of them to be sitting. Okay, so I think these little arms are so cute. I can't waste them. So I'm going to put an arm coming out like of the fire.
dress that was on the little dolls. And I'm going to make this one, look at this one. And that's like attached. Like who does that? That's funny. That's what you get for getting your dollar or your skeletons at the Dollar Tree. An extra attachment. Not supposed to be kid friendly. Just because, why not? Okay, then I'm actually going to break his arm a little bit because I'm going to glue it back into place because I want him to be, sorry, you can't see, I want him to be like pouring it over. Kind of like that. So let's glue his arm back. Okay, so he is ready to get glued on. I'm going to wait to glue him on here because of my cup and everything else needing glued. So I'm just going to focus on decorating still. Um, I have another flower I'm going to put on there. I don't even know really what I'm doing. I was going to make a graveyard, but I didn't. Um, we have some arms sticking out for the moss. Okay, I think I'm going to hot glue this one just standing up. See if it can work. And again, make sure you're gluing on the plate, not just the moss. Yeah. Perfect. And then I'm going to have this guy, I think, sit, sitting down next to the fire. Like that. have some ghosts. I don't know, I might put it in. I have a little skull. Um, I thought about putting them in these jars. Either a spider or, I don't know if a skull fit in here. Yeah, that skull will fit. Maybe we'll do two. Like the skull inside there and a spider. Then we can have another spider up on top of it or something. Yeah, so I'm going to glue it in there. Then I'm going to glue some moss on here, just a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. So we can have... Let me glue this skull down. I want it. Okay, so I took off the little stem on my ghost, and I think I'm going to put them up on top of the cup. Yeah, he looks cute up there. Okay, so I'm just going to glue his hand down on this one. Okay, and then I just got some regular flowers, just pick them off of the stems, and I'm going to randomly put them all around, because this is a fairy garden. I feel like it shouldn't all be 
pwede. I'm gonna have her hold one. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of these gems and I'm just gonna glue them actually all around. I did stick some hands and things out. I don't know if you can see. There. I did stick some hands and things out of the water. I don't even know if this is a good angle for you guys to even see. Hopefully. So I'm just gonna put them wherever. just to make it look kind of a little bit cooler. I think I'm going to try to find a shark. I'm just going to add this little spider on this rock. Okay, so, so far I'm done. I'm going to try to get a shark at the Dollar Tree next time. Um, but honestly, I probably won't even keep this in my house. I might give it away. But here's a little spider. I think it's really cool how it turned out. Little ghost. And I might redo him because obviously he has glue everywhere but I don't really like how I have them on that cup but I can always change them so there it is hopefully you guys enjoyed I have a couple other DIYs I'm going to do for Halloween too so make sure you subscribe and check my videos